<laughs> Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. It's good to be back. Oh my gosh. Uh, had an awesome trip to Cancun with my kids. Um, there were a whole, like a ton, like so many families from Alma, from our high school, um, that went down to Cancun with us. Um, and so just moms, dads, kids, like just huge group of people. And it was this huge resort too, which was, it was beautiful, tons of different pools and things. Um, so it was just fun because, you know, got to spend time with lots of different people, ran into lots of people. You kind of couldn't go anywhere without seeing someone. So hello, Pam. So just a great, great week. My kids uh, had the spring break of their dreams, I think, with all of their friends too. So very, very fun. So great to be away. Um, great to be back, except I wish I would have brought some weather, uh, some better weather, sunshine, warmth with me, right? <laughs> so hopefully soon spring will actually come around here, right? Hey, Susie. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for joining us today, guys. So we have some fun stuff. So weather may be dreary outside, but we've got fun stuff that we're playing with inside here, uh, including this is the <clears throat> garden greenhouse suite, I guess, bundle, I guess I'll say, because there's a stamp set and then a set of dies. This is what we're going to play with, um, showing you lots of like cute, super cute projects. So I want to show you um, the um, greetings, I guess, in the stamp set, because I always love to highlight those. We've got one that says, a friendship nurtured in love blooms forever. So that's that one right there, right? And then each day is a new beginning. That's very true, right? Thankfully so. Um, hope your day is just right and and then love grows here and then that fun greenhouse um, imagery right and then all of the greenery that you kind of associate with a greenhouse right <clears throat> and then the greenhouse dies let's see I don't know they're gonna be upside down and actually they're backwards too right no matter how I show you them but some cute more um, garden greenhouse imagery there and then lots of detailed little um, uh, leaves and flowers and bits that are going to work so well with the stamp set. So super fun. Love playing with this. When I saw it in the catalog, it was one that like I knew I wanted to get. Um, I think it's a little bit pricier bundle. A lot of times, you know, the stamp set and dies are. So I waited a little while to get it, but I'm super happy that I have it now and that we're going to be playing with this today. So look forward to that in just a little while, right? Um, so what else do we have going on? Well, the retiring list. So I've got my, or last chance list, I guess we call them. Uh, through Stampin' Up. So you can see there are, I mean, how many is it? Like eight pages. Very, very, very small print too. But a bunch of things are discounted on here. So if you guys haven't had a chance, yeah, as I'm flipping through, like probably at least half of the items in here are discounted. So um, <clears throat> if you get a chance, you can find this list um, on, where can you find it? Stampin'Up.com. Um, actually, what they're going to do is if you go to Stampin'Up.com, you're going to um, see the banner that says Last Chance Items. Click on that, and it's going to show you pictures of everything that is still available, and then the discounted price, if there is a discounted price. I will tell you, I'm surprised, because actually, um, typically, they guarantee stamp sets to be available through like the end of the catalog period, and I think last year they changed that and stopped doing that well already this year quite a few stamp sets have already sold out i just went through the list last night and i was like wow there are a lot of stamp sets that have sold out the other thing that is sold out is um the in colors that are um retiring a lot of the ink refills i think pretty much all of those ink refills have sold out which those always do that's always the first thing but if you still need other in colors that are retiring the magenta madness bumblebee just jade um, Misty Moonlight, and there's one more, Cinnamon Cider. Um, if you need product in those colors, make sure you get it ASAP. Hello, Joelle, how are you? Thanks for joining us today. Um, so yeah, these items too, last chance items are available through May 2nd or while supplies last. So <clears throat> the other thing, I have a little frog in my throat. Um, the other thing that I've done is Lily and I actually highlighted a bunch of the annual catalog. So if you would like to flip through one of the annual catalogs that's highlighted that has all of these items um, highlighted that are retiring, um, they're out on the porch right now. Stop by, grab one, pick it up, flip through it. If you don't mind, once you're done using it, just drop it back off. So if there's anybody else that wants to look at one of those, they can do that too. Um, but that's like the easiest way, I think, is to just like visually, you know, because this list is fairly overwhelming. Um, like I said, it's probably like eight pages long and super teeny tiny 
tiny print, right? Like, oh my goodness. But lots of good stuff in here going, 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 um, but on sale too. So that's awesome, right? So keep that in mind. You got a few more weeks, um, but I would say don't wait because like I said, stamp sets are selling out already. So keep that in mind. Get what you can while you still can. And then I don't want to say too much about it because we can't even actually show you anything more than the outside cover of the next annual catalog. But that's what this always happens, right? When we have a last chance list, that means last year's catalog is retiring and then we get a new annual catalog. So we can only show the in or the outside cover right now. But if you need one of these catalogs, I have ordered them. I'll be getting them to everyone that comes to classes and clubs regularly. If there's anyone else that is interested, if you would like a catalog, hello, Philomena, thanks for joining us. Um, let me know, I'm happy to send a catalog to you. Um, just comment right on here, send me an email or a message and let me know that you would like a catalog and I would be happy to get one sent out to you because there's, of course, lots of cute stuff in there, right? Thank you for sharing too, Philomena, I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, even the, I'm like looking at the cover, like even the cover is beautiful, right? There's always beautiful floral imagery, um, of course, because that's what we all love, right? Um, but look at that, just so beautiful. And the sentiment, um, this, oh, I love this. It says, wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Especially in hard times. Um, wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. So great sentiment, awesome um, idea right on the front of that catalog right there. So again, let me know if you need one of those catalogs and I'd be happy to get one sent out to you. The other thing though, so the reason why, well, a couple things, we can't show the inside of the catalog. I think it's like a copyright thing. I don't know, crazy companies like see people doing Facebook lives or something and like see the insides of the catalogs and like duplicate things, I guess. I don't, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure on that, but I think that's kind of the idea, which is awful. People are just, I don't know, people are not nice sometimes. Um, like, I want to be able to show you guys that stuff, but you can't order any of it right now anyway, not until May 3rd, unless you want to get the starter kit. Then you can order new product in your starter kit, and then once you become a demonstrator, you can do the pre-order like I have done. And you can get new stuff out of the annual catalog already um, as well. So something to think about, that starter kit is always an awesome deal. You um, pick $125 in product, pay only $99 plus sales tax, the shipping fee is waived, and then you get 20% off of everything that you order after that. So always a great deal, awesome time if you wanna do that and um, get some new annual catalog product before anybody else can, right? So keep that in mind. Let me know if you have any questions on that too, okay? Um, let's see. Oh, just want to do a quick reminder about our one day retreat right here in Alma. It is on Saturday, May 7th, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. It is $64 for the entire day. It includes a goodie bag valued at $30. You get your own table to work on whatever projects you want to work on for the day. Um, I give you little treats. We have make and takes. I feed you um, lots of little prizes, raffles. Awesome, awesome day. If you're interested, let me know. RSVPs, final RSVPs are due uh, by Monday, May 25th. RSVP and payment, I guess I should qualify that. Um, so if you're interested right here in Alma, love to have as many of you as would like to join us to be able to do that since we can finally gather together again like that, which we are very appreciative for, right? Okay, what else do I wanna share with you guys? Um, I think we are, actually, let's do our first drawing. You wanna do that? Okay, so we are gonna give away the beautiful, the iridescent rhinestone jewels are what we're giving away today. If you shared the Facebook, our last Facebook Live video, or sign up for my email list. If you have not done that before, that's the best way to kind of keep updated on everything that's going on. Um, so yeah, your names are in here. Share the video, sign up for my email list, and your name is in my little basket right here. One lucky winner will receive these iridescent rhinestones. Let's see, who is that? Oh, they're got a couple stuck together. You know, whenever I feel that, I'm like always tossing them all around in here. When I feel some stuck together, I gotta separate them. So everybody has a fair chance. Okay, one lucky winner is Miss Kathy Cummings. All right, congratulations, Kathy. You are the proud new winner owner of the Iridescent Rhinestones. I will get these sent out to you. So congratulations, Kathy. 
All right, so on our next, Diana, hello, welcome. So glad you can be here with us this morning. Hello, hello. Um, next Facebook Live, which actually I'm gonna be doing next Friday. Um, yes, two Fridays in a row. I'm feeling like, ooh, I gotta pat myself on the back. Um, things are always so crazy so that um, I'm not able to do them quite as often as I used to, which I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me too, because I know that gets a little like, is she doing it, is she not? Um, I mean, as many Fridays as I can, I definitely want to be able to do the Facebook Lives. Um, my other work schedule has just gotten um, a lot crazier, and so it's been more difficult for me to fit in these Facebook Live videos every single Friday. So I apologize, because I know it's kind of been, like I said, like, is she doing it, is she not? I always try to post the night before, like on Thursday night, I post whether I'm gonna be live today on Friday or not. So if you're ever wondering, um, just go to this Facebook group right here, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group Thursday night. And you know whether um, I'm going to be doing Facebook Live the next day on Friday or not. Or just pop on at 1130. And if I'm here, great. And if I'm not, that means I wasn't able to do it that week. So, But as many Fridays as I can, I'm here for you guys. Love doing these Facebook Lives for you. So thank you for um, joining me each Friday that I'm able to do them. So thank you, thank you. Um, okay, did I say this already? On our next Facebook Live, that was my whole, yeah. Um, next Friday on Facebook Live, we're going to give away. These are the Garden Gems. You guys remember, might remember these. These were um, a beautiful um, gem that was available around Christmas time. They were with that Gardens Eden suite. Hello, Dawn. How are you? Um, anyway, I have an extra package of them, and I thought, why not give them away on Facebook Live? So you can see these, I think they said were cherry cobbler. I honestly, I think they're a red, but I think you can almost make them look like green or brown, whatever you need them to. And then this is like a teardrop. Um, I think maybe in soft succulent. I can't remember for sure on the color, but they're beautiful. And I feel like most of the time the gems, you can kind of bend them to be what color you need them to be, depending on what project you put them on. So this is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live. And the other thing I wanna to mention too is um, my class to go kits. I'm really trying to get those marketed more or better than I am currently. So if you share the um, information on my class to go kits, your name is gonna go in the drawing for these gems as well. So share this Facebook Live video, sign up, that's one way, share the Facebook Live video. Second way is sign up for my email list if you haven't done that. And then third way is if you share um, my post about my class to go kits, which I'm gonna put those, I put those out every um, week or so um, advertising about my class to go. And I'm gonna show you guys that in just a little bit because I've got some awesome, awesome projects to share with you guys um, on my next class to go, so. All right, let's see, what else, what else? I'm like looking all around my table here. <laughs> Thank you, Philomena, you're always so sweet. I really, truly appreciate. Um, so Philomena participates in the class to go kits each month. And she's very gracious, always saying thank you. Love to send the treats. Um, and she's always so sweet about um, when she receives the, the to-go kit and the treats. So thank you, Philomena. And hello, Amy. How are you? Thanks for joining us today. Um, so I want to give a shout out. I always love to kind of give shouts out to um, anybody in my downline, any of our Inkspired Stampers. Miss um, Lisa Berge, who just bought the starter kit, um, middle of March, I think, has already reached her $300 quarterly minimum, which is awesome. So go, Miss Lisa. Um, basically, once you buy the starter kit, each quarter you need to put $300 in orders in. They actually waived the first quarter that you start in. So like in Lisa's case, they kind of waived that first quarter, so March. So she had until April, May, June um, to get her $300 in orders in. And she's already done that. And it's like, early April, right? So she's having some fun, taking advantage of her 20% discount and probably on her way to reaching that first quick start level too. So yes, congratulations, Miss Lisa. Very excited for her. She's excited too. So that's fun to see the excitement from other people as they're kind of diving into the paper crafting world um, or getting back into it if they got out of it for a little while. So um Okay, so on my last Facebook Live, I announced something called the Spring Break Special. And thank you guys for your online orders, which I truly, truly appreciate. So anyone that ordered over $50, um, 
between our last Facebook Live and this past Wednesday, got to participate in the uh, spring break special. So all of those people will automatically be receiving lots and lots of goodies. So these two cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live with the What's Cooking bundle, which is retiring, and actually the stamp set has already sold out. The dies are still available, so if you missed out on the stamp set, you can still get the dies, and honestly, you can do so many cute things, like look at um, everything that you can do just with the dies alone. But I loved this bundle, and very sad to see it going, actually. Um, so yes, they're going to get those two cards that I demonstrated on Facebook Live. They are going to get the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. That's the second thing. They are going to get a free celebration item because I still have some celebration items left. They are going to get the free embellishment and what else? Oh, and they're going to get a um, six by six designer series paper sampler. So, so many good things. So I don't have anything to draw because everybody that ordered over $50 is getting all of those things in the spring break special. So thank you guys for your orders, which I, again, truly, truly appreciate. So on our next Facebook Live, we will be giving away with your online order, <clears throat> excuse me, minimum $30 online order gets you the two cards I'm going to demonstrate in just a few minutes and your name goes in the drawing to win. This is the new Horizons designer series paper and I have to pull this out to show you guys. So if you win this package, I have opened it already and we'll make sure everything is good and intact for you. Um, but I just have to show you guys this paper because it is absolutely beautiful. Basically, it's almost, um, you know, as if they took pictures on, let's see if we can do this like on the horizon right and then there's like watercolor kind of washy behind that you guys can look isn't that beautiful you guys get the idea oh that's like on a lake or something right maybe i will tracy from maine hello but look at isn't there's just so many beautiful patterns in that paper and i think here i'll show you the back side too we can flip through these a little bit faster but you kind of get look at isn't that it's just oh thank you for sharing too isn't that, it's just so cool. That paper is beautiful. So your name will go on the drawing to win that new Horizons Designer Series paper on next Friday's Facebook Live. If you put an online order in of at least $30 using the new host code for April, which I will show you in just a moment. And it's also always on my blog at Gathering Inc. with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, all right. Um, I think... We are ready. I've got lots of stuff to show you guys once we flip the camera down. So I think I am ready to do that. I need to kind of clear off these things. I think I told you guys about everything there. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna grab the new host code. Lori, hello, welcome. Thanks for joining us. See you at class in a little while too. So maybe that's why I'm like, talking, I don't know, am I talking extra fast? I think I always talk too fast on these things. Anyway, but I have class in a little bit too, so I gotta make sure I'm done with this so I can get to class on time too. So, okay, yep, here we go. Turn your heads away, we're gonna fly through the air and flip the camera down. Oops, there we go. <clears throat> Trying to make sure, too many buttons on these phones these days. I always have to make sure my clip um, isn't like getting affected by, um, let's see, I think that's okay. Don't wanna hit any buttons is what I'm basically trying to say when I put this in my clip. Okay, all right, there we go. We're here, right? Okay, so this is the new host code for April. The 7QNZD3YV is the code you'll wanna use to get your name in the Facebook Live drawings. Let's see. Oh, I know what I want to show you guys. I have some scrapbook pages that we made at class at the end of March, and I just wanted to share these with you guys. One reason is because the Hippo and Friends stamp set and the dies that I absolutely love are retiring. So the Hippo is super cute, right? Like you can see how super cute she is, right? But then they have all these label dies that were in there too. So here is one page you guys can kind of see, right? And then here's the second coordinating. There's no way to put both of those in view, right? But you can see like labels here, labels here, and then the cute little lamb as well, right? 
gray and then more. Um, can't remember, Abstract Beauty, I think, designer series paper, beautiful package of paper. We use some um, fun circles on there as well. Um, but just a beautiful set of pages, right? And then again, featuring that Hippo and Friends stamp set and dies. I believe the Hippo and Friends stamp set has already sold out, but the dies are still available. So again, um, many, many stamp sets have already sold out, which is crazy. But yes, yeah, so these two pages we made at class at the end of March. We will have another class. I always do scrapbook class the last Tuesday of every month. Um, April, I don't even know what the day is, but the last Tuesday in April is when we'll have our next scrapbook class. We make three pages. So for example, we made these two pages last month and then let's see the coordinating if there's one more we made this page right here last month as well so two pages right a two page spread coordinating these two and then a single page spread that will coordinate with the next month's single page spread so we made this one next month we'll make the coordinating one and then another two page spread um so yeah love like the little um ladybug too so cute right so yeah if you love scrapbook pages that's something you might want to consider is joining us at the scrapbook class the last tuesday of every month from 6 to 8 p.m right here in alma you make three pages um let's see class fee is twenty dollars or it's free with an order so something to keep in mind let me know if you have any questions or are interested in joining us at scrapbook class last tuesday of the month maybe april 25th but i don't know i don't have my i don't i can't look at a calendar right now because it's on my phone and we're doing live so that's not gonna work okay Oh, you guys, all right, now I get to show you my class to go. If you haven't seen, I just uploaded the video. I'm gonna be sending email, oh my gosh. So very excited about these cards, these projects. I think because um, masculine cards, which it's, they, they may be, I don't even know if I should say that. There may be a little more masculine, but obviously there are lots of women out there that love baseball and sports too. So it, they're not just for men, right? But I think we generally don't have enough masculine cards. So that's kind of why I'm playing that this way is like, okay, you can get some masculine cards with this class to go this month. So they feature the stamp set, Your Biggest Fan. We've got The Most Valuable Dad, Hope Your Day is a Grand Slam, You're Amazing, Happy Birthday, Hooray, and Happy Father's Day. And then some other fun imagery that of course coordinates with the sports event dies. So for example, this ticket is cut out with that guy right there. They've got lots of tickets. There's that one, that one, that one, and then that little strip of them down there too. And then that pennant or banner and a little one, that little number one that we used right there. So many cute images in that die set as well. Okay, let me show you the cards and then we'll talk about the options that are available for this awesome class to go. Okay, so, and you guys know, we always make four cards in my class to go. You get to make two of each of them. I give you all the parts and pieces, give you the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put everything together. So super simple and easy to do. Okay, so here is card number one. We've got, yay, you're amazing with that cute little number one die cut out of there. And then just a little bit of stamping on the inside with the stars. Then we've got another, that's a home run, number one. And the fun thing about this is this ticket is die cut right out of designer series paper. So you can use whichever sentiment that you love. As well, this banner right here too is cut out of designer series paper. So you can customize this however you would like. Hello, Monica, how are you? Oh, thanks, Diana. I'm glad you enjoyed those pages. So on this one, I did the hooray, happy Father's Day. You could do happy birthday or you're amazing, whatever you want as far as sentiments on the inside or outside, right? We've got this most valuable dad card. Again, this and and this are both die cut from designer series paper. So you can use whatever, when, which, whichever um, wording or sentiments that you like. And then here, this is the fun thing, right? So there's that number one. And then that was the cutout, the um, kind of negative side of that there too. Thought that was kind of fun. Had to keep that and use that somewhere, right? And then the last one, hope your day is a grand slam. And then that little ticket that says admit one with the fun stars too, the resin stars. And then I put a happy birthday in here with more of that paper that kind of looks like the stitching on your baseball, right? Okay, so those four cards, option number one includes the stamp set and the dies. It includes a full package of the resin stars, a full package of the fan baker's twine that we used on all the projects, and then a half a pack of, this is the Hey Sports Fan, let's that upside down, we're gonna go this way. Hey Sports Fan Designer Series paper. So I have to show you guys this paper and literally this last little piece over here 
is all I have left. Ah, oh, let's see. What's Monica saying? Um, yes, I'm doing In Color Club this year. I have. I need to get the details um, organized for that. But yes, 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 I am definitely doing In Color Club. Um, yes, the new In Colors are beautiful. If you guys have seen them posted anywhere, they are gorgeous. I'm trying not to like get too excited about new stuff because you can't really get it just yet. But I know a lot of people are posting about it. So yes, I will. Um, on next Friday's Facebook Live, I will definitely be giving more info on the In Color Club. So keep. Um, I'll keep you posted on that. Thanks for asking, Monica. I appreciate that. Okay, so back to class to go. So this is, and I want to make sure I got it. Yep, the Hey Sports Fan Designer Series paper. So isn't this so cool? Beautiful, beautiful paper. And then this was, like I said, I've got this stripey one, and then um, all of the kind of catchers um, gear, I guess I would say, on the back, baseball and catchers gear, right? But I use so much of that paper, I don't even have like a full piece to show you. But this is one side of all the pages. And this is what I was talking about on this designer series paper, how the dies cut all, all of these images out. You can use the dies to cut these things out. So whichever one you want to use on your cards, you can. And then same thing with these, this um, pendant here. You would have to kind of fussy cut that one with your scissors, which wouldn't be a big deal. Mary, hello. Thanks for joining us today. Um, but you could do any of them that are this shape right here. You could die cut with the dies from your new die set. Okay, so here's the back side too, because these are kind of fun also. There's that one right there. Okay, so lot, awesome. Lots of kind of um, bold, deep colors and imagery on that designer series paper. And actually in option number one, you get that half a pack of designer series paper for free. Um, let's see what else. You get the PDF tutorial, tells you everything about how to put the projects together. So option number one is $76. Option number two is if you already have this stamp set and dies. This is a value of $40.50 is what it costs plus tax and shipping um, to get this um, bundle, right? So if you already have this bundle, then don't worry about that. You'll get the stars, the um, twine, and the half a pack of designer series paper to put your projects together in option number two, plus the PDF tutorial. So that option number two is $36. If you need the kits shipped to you, um, it's an additional $10 for priority mail shipping. Option number three is the PDF tutorial that just tells you step-by-step -step how to put everything together. Um, if you want to do it all by yourself, and I just tell you exactly how to do it, all of the colors, dimensions, products, item codes, everything that you need to make these projects. That is $15. It's also free to anyone in my downline, any of my Inkspired stampers can get any of those PDF tutorials for free anytime. And then also option number four is also for my downline. My team can get the make and takes, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of those projects for just $12. RSVPs are due by Friday, April 29th. And the kits will ship out no later than May 11. So let me know if you'd like to get one of these awesome class to go kits with all these super cute cards sent out to you. I would love to do that. Okay, here we go, ladies. We are ready to do our stamping. Let me grab get my other grid paper and I gotta make sure, I always have to do this. My grid paper tells me if I'm in view and as long as I don't move it, we're doing okay. <laughs> if I move, <laughs> if I move the grid paper, uh, we're, we're probably in trouble, but I try to keep an eye on things. So, okay. Oh, I need some water there. Okay, so you guys, okay, Garden Greenhouse Bundle is what we're going to play with. Here is card number one. Isn't this so cute? That beautiful greenhouse and then with all of this, the fun imagery from the dies. And then this one says, hope your day is just right. And on the inside, I said, each day is a new beginning. And then with the stamping there too. Okay, so let me show you how we are going to make this project. Do -do -do -do. Actually, I'm gonna scoop this guy out of the way. Those, I need that. Are we still I'm already worried I'm like messing up with where my grid paper is, but I think we're okay. Okay, so we are gonna start with this is what is this? This is Granny Apple Green <laughs> cardstock. Okay, here's our full sheet of cardstock. 
Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there is our card base, nice crisp fold on our card. Whoopsie daisy, okay? Then we have, this is um, a piece of whisper, or basic white, excuse me, that goes on the inside right there. This one is my standard four by five and a quarter inch, inch cut for the inside of the card. Then we have, these are the two pieces that layer right there on the outside of the card. This one is garden green that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then the basic white, just a teeny tiny bit smaller at three and seven eighths by five and one eighth inch. So that just kind of fits right on there. And then that green peeks out just behind it a little bit. And then these are all pieces that we use for our die cutting. The granny apple green, garden green, magenta madness that is retiring, and the bumblebee that is retiring, okay? Um, yeah, so let's see, what are we gonna do? We'll do, let's do our stamping because it's mainly die cutting. So let's see how I do on my stamping here with this, hope your day is just right. So you guys know the beauty of Stampin' Up, right? The products, the Granny Apple Green ink that ma matches, right? The Granny Apple Green cardstock. We do that nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We're gonna press straight down and lift straight up. That looks good, okay? Yes, Philomena, it's a beautiful bundle, isn't it? Okay, then on the inside, we are gonna stamp. Let's see, we've got our green leaves right here. Susan, hello, how are you today? Stamp our green leaves right there. And our other sentiment that says, each day is a new beginning. Nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up. There we go. And then one more. Again, Magenta Madness, our retiring bright pink in color. We're going to add just a couple little flowers inside our leaves. That did not work, so we're going to do another one over top of it. Kind of cover up my mistake there. No big deal, right? Okay, there we are. Thanks for sharing, Susan. Always appreciate that. Okay, so I think we have our stamping. Now we get to do our die cutting. Okay, so I've got my cut and emboss machine. Is it not? I feel like, oh, it's on. I'm like, something doesn't, there, now we're flat. Okay. So I have to show you guys these dies too, okay? So we are, where's my card? <laughs> Let me make sure I know what I'm doing here. Okay, so we are going to, I can pull these out, right? Okay, so we're gonna use this detailed guy on our garden green. We might need, we'll see. Will they all fit on here? Then we're gonna do just the outline, oops, as that goes flying. And we'll put that down in a sec. That one's gonna be on the granny apple green. And then, we have a couple of these little flowers here that we're gonna use on our Magenta Madness and our Bumblebee. And then what else? Then we've got, oh, that's why I have bigger pieces. Okay, now it's making sense. I actually already pre-cut a couple of these, although I think we're gonna have to cut some more anyway, but here we've got a couple of those leaves right there. So we're gonna do this little guy in green and then oh the one that went flying is what i need for my granny apple green right here okay so you can see lots of other images um, on there as well okay let's see if we can i wonder if i can get all of these on with one one pass through we will try this one and this one <laughs> my um, magnetic plate is being Nikki. Hello. How are you? Okay, we're going to put that one down on our granny apple green and then those can go right there. All right, I think we've got them all. You know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to cut a couple more of those little flowers. But that's okay. All right, here we go. Sorry. It's wiggling. I know it's wiggling. Just turn your heads away for a sec if it's making you seasick. <laughs> Try not to like make it wiggle too much. Yeah, I forgot to cut some extra of those little flowers. I should have done that too. Okay, that's all right. Those are, look at how cute that is, that little flower though, right? Can you guys see that? Um, so I'm gonna have to use my finger now. Isn't that so cute? Super duper cute. Okay, we got that one. 
So we're gonna have to run one more of each of these little guys. Okay, but let's see, did everything else come out all right? Yep, we've got that leaf right there. Just throw that onto your table and it pops right out. This is fun, check that out, huh? Can you guys see? That one cut really well. Love that. We're gonna be able to just pop those little, see how they're popping right out? I'm gonna do that over on my side of my table so that I have little bits and pieces all over. Sorry, I'm over here like popping all of these things out. The one thing that I did notice is it's almost like you need that paper piercing tool uh, for a couple of the little teeny tiny guys. Can you see those little things? I maybe should have run that back and forth through there one more time, but that's all right. Okay, and then we've got these little babies right here too. So there's that one. We just toss that. Oops. Yeah, okay, it'll come out. <laughs> this is kind of a fun one too. Those little leaves, fun, right? Okay. And then our little greenhouse base right there too, right? Okay. I'm gonna use, trying to figure out what I need for my next card. <laughs> okay, there we go. Making a mess here. Okay, we're not even gonna worry about those. We just need to cut a couple of those little guys and we are good. Then we can put our card together. Such a cute bundle. And I did want to highlight, you know, these in colors that are retiring too. For example, the magenta madness right here and the bumblebee right there. Just make sure you get those things while you can. Okay, that little flower and that little flower, we're good to go. Okay, so yeah, get, get a few extra bits and pieces here that you just clean off later. Okay, we'll find them again when we do our next card. <laughs> I'm sure. All right, let's see. Where is, oh, hmm. I didn't bring my little, um, I know what I can do, my little silicone craft sheet. So we're gonna use this piece right here if I have little pieces that I need to put together. Okay, so we're gonna bring our card back into view so that I don't mess anything up. And then we've got these guys right here. Okay, I think I've got everything that I need. Where is my adhesive? Okay, so we are gonna do, this is our, hope your day is just right. I don't think I got enough on there. This piece is gonna go right on here. So my basic white goes on my garden green, and then that is gonna be put onto our granny apple green card base. While I'm thinking of it, you guys know this, right? I will have, these projects uploaded to my blog with all of the colors and dimensions, item codes, everything that you need to recreate these projects on your own. You'll be able to do that by checking out my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. So I had my paper piercing tool in here and now I don't have it. Oh no, it's right here. I do. I already pulled it out. I was so efficient. Okay, so you're just gonna kind of use your paper piercing tool to pop a couple of those things out. And honestly, if I would have run this back and forth a couple of times, um, these all pretty, oh, excuse me. Sorry, I hit that amount there. Um, would have popped right out on their own. So don't fret um, if there's a little bit of work to be done here. Um, Cindy, hello. Okay, here we go. Popping these little babies out. Yeah. It's funny because when I did this, um, when I was working on it, hi, Deb. Um, when I created these projects, I don't think I had to punch more than a couple things out. So, of course, this is happening on Facebook Live, right? It's really not that futzy. So, like I said, I should have just run it back through a couple more times. That would have taken care of that. We're just going to flip this over. I'm just kind of using my fingernail. Because I think when I um, punched a f you know, popped a few of them out, they still, you know, they still kind of stick on there. All right, so I think we are good there. Okay, so this is why I needed um, <laughs> my little silicone. I'm going to go grab that. I'll be right back. One sec, because that's kind of a big piece. Normally I have little pieces and you can just use this because it kind of works the same as your silicone mat. Um, so when I'm putting adhesive on those little flowers, that will work just fine for those. And you'll see um, your adhesive doesn't stick on that little guy either. But this one we, oops, I've got one more little bit I need to pull out there. 
This one's too big. It won't fit on there very well. Okay, so I found that adding adhesive on here, just kind of quick little flicks on the edges are really all you need. Okay, because you just kind of want this, maybe a few through, and I'll show you what I like to do. Once I put this on here, because you can see there is some adhesive kind of rolling around in between those edges. But once I put this down on here where I want, then I can just kind of rub firmly and trying not to rock <laughs> the camera, right? Those, you can kind of just rub and you'll actually kind of, it just balls up and it kind of comes right off. Okay, so how about that? Isn't that cool? Love that greenhouse. I wish um, I had more time to garden. That used to be a thing. I think kind of before I did <laughs> my stamping, I was very much into gardening. Um, and then I ran out of time to do both. So, um, but yeah, I'm always thinking maybe I'm gonna have to get back into the gardening. One day, one day I will. Okay, here we go. During retirement, right? Isn't that what, what we all think? Okay, so we're gonna put that guy right on there. Then we're just gonna flip these babies over. All my little leaves. And these you have to be a little bit careful with because they're more delicate. I, I broke one apart when I was kind of flicking too quickly here. Okay, so actually this one I kind of wanted, I put that down pretty firmly, now I wanna lift it up. See if I use this. There we go. Kind of want to tuck this one back behind there just a little bit. Okay, then we're going to add that one right there. And then let's put our adhesive on. Oops, my fingernail's not catching that. <laughs> okay, there's one, two, three, four, there. Okay, so we're going to put one little pink one there. And I think I did flip that over. And then the yellow one right there, and we're gonna do the same thing over here. And actually here, let's lift this up just a titch. Okay. Just kind of like that. Tucked right behind there, just that little bit. And then that little guy goes there. And actually that one doesn't have, nope, we've got it, there we go. There's that one, and then that one. So see, we're almost, <laughs> we are almost done. Then I had to add, and these jewels are retiring to the 2021-2023 in color jewels. Bombed, I always love when these things stick around for a while, um, but that's okay. There's lots of cute new stuff coming instead. All right, so we're gonna add a couple of, we've got, Little evening evergreen, and I think I used the um, the pink ones too, the polished pink. So it's funny because these aren't even the colors that we used on here, but you see how well they all kind of work together, right? And then one more right there. And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Hope your day is just right. Each day is a new beginning. So pretty, huh? Love that garden greenhouse bundle. So much fun to play with. Okay, I gotta scoot these things over a little bit here. And you know what, let's clean. We're gonna clean real quick. Okay, we get these out of the way. Love my little chamois. Obviously you can tell it's very well loved. <laughs> Use it all the time. Okay, here we go. All right, so ladies, let me show you. I think I'm ready to show you. The next project that we will make, again, featuring the Garden Greenhouse Bundle. So similar in look. Hi, Lisa, how are you? Okay, so isn't this, so this time I stamped and then put that um, greenhouse over top of things and then also added um, a little bit more in terms of the leaves and greenery and then some of the opal rounds just to give it some sparkle too. I don't know, can you guys see, this is some of the silver foil that carried over from the holiday catalog too. Oh, thanks Mary, I'm glad that you are enjoying this. Yes, it's, oh, I know, just, I love this bundle, just so much fun 
to play with, like I said. Okay, so here we go. Are we back on view? <laughs> all right, so um, let's see, what do we, I'm like all discombobulated here for whatever reason. Sorry, let me get, get my mind focused again here. Okay, so we need these ink pad colors and I need my pink again, don't I? There we go, okay. Oh, and yeah, that's why. So this card, we're actually making it class too. So as I'm like putting this out, I'm like trying to make sure I have everything um, that I need to take to class too. So let's see. Yes, the wood grain background. Yes, so this is um, some of the, what is that designer series paper called? Let me pull that up because I'm trying to remember that now too. <laughs> you didn't marry. I know it happens. You didn't think you needed this one. It, it's funny though, because like I said earlier, this was one that kind of caught my eye. Um, the Heart and Home Designer Series paper. Let's just make sure on page 59. Yes, so this is the background paper um, that we are using. So it's kind of the pretty floral on one seat and then they all have on one side and then there's a wood grain background on the back of each of those papers in there too. So yes, beautiful paper, perfect kind of background for that kind of greenhouse look, right? Okay. So let's grab, we're gonna get our stamps out. And let me tell you how we have everything set up here, okay? So we start again, this one is a Granny Apple Green card base, cards, piece of cardstock, right? So along the eight, I'm sorry, the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Okay, so there's our card base. We have another piece of basic white. This is four by five and a quarter. This is my standard whenever you kind of have that layering there. Um, and that's something to know, like if you're kind of brand new to card making, I used to just kind of cut willy nilly and then things never looked the same. So if you use exact measurements, then you can recreate things. Um, and then they all kind of fit really well together too. <laughs> so keep that in mind. I love, and I'm kind of an accountant too. So that precise measurement thing kind of works for me also. So four inches by five and a quarter inches fits perfectly inside. This is... Um, four and a quarter by five and a half. So if you take a quarter of an inch off of the white piece, that fits in there perfectly. Okay, all right, then we have, let's see, so we have our basic white, that one went there, the four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a bunch of other scrap pieces, but I wanna show you guys measurements. Um, this is Magenta Madness cardstock that measures three and three quarters by five inches. And then our designer series paper is just a teeny tiny bit smaller at three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And then that one just fits right on inside there and just that little bit of pink pops out. Everything else that we have here is basically for our die cutting and stamping. So this is some of the silver foil that like I mentioned, carried over from the um, holiday catalog. And then we've got some pieces of basic white, granny apple green and garden green to do our die cutting, okay? All right, so let's see. We're gonna do our stamping. We'll do the stamping on the inside here, first of all. So with our Magenta Madness, we're gonna stamp a friendship nurtured in love blooms forever. Okay, so there's that. Then we are going to use our Garden Green ink and this is good. This is why I did this one second. So if I put a stamp away in the other tub and realize I need it for class, I will be all set, okay? Then let's see, we're gonna do some pink. Some little pink flowers are also over here. Okay, so we're gonna add look, that little flower there and that little flower there. And then I need my Coastal Cabana ink with this little teeny tiny baby flower right there. Let's do one more just for kicks, right? One more right there. So cute, huh? Isn't that? So I think I just love like the little, the cute little flower stamps in there too. Because whenever you want to add like just a little something in the corner of a card or an envelope, those are great little stamps to be able to do that, I think. Okay, so I think we are ready. I'm like nervous. We got to stamp this, ladies. I did this much earlier this week and I'm like, whoa, it's hard to, ooh, and I know I didn't put that on there yet, but we won't be able to. So here's the back of that side too, right? There's that Heart and Home Designer Series. Oop, and then the wood grain. I think I'm okay. <laughs> it fell in that ink, but I think I'm all right. 
Okay, so we have our Granny Apple Green ink and our big, big, big stamp here. So we need to ink this up really well. Okay, and let's see, can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm gonna put that pretty much right in the middle, maybe up a little bit, a little bit, okay? So there we go. That's kind of all our leafy background. Then let's see, what am I gonna do? We're gonna do some pink. Okay, we're gonna just add a flower there. Hello, Ashley, how are you? Thanks for joining us today. Okay, so we got that one there and that one there. We have this, okay, so there's this teeny tiny, so the little bumblebee um, stamp. Do you see that little guy right there? This stamp fits perfectly right inside there. If you're wearing your glasses, which I'm gonna grab. <laughs> okay, so yes, I'm like stressing out. I'm trying to make sure that this fits all well. Um, oh, okay, I think I did a pretty good job. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, there's gonna be enough going on. You can really barely even see that yellow in there. That's why I think I stamped it up a little bit higher so that you'll be able to see a little bit more of that because I realized after I did that, does that make sense? Almost like this green stuff here, I wanted to be up a little bit higher so you could see a little bit more of it in the background. So we're gonna hope that I did that on this one. I feel like I did. I feel like I stamped up a little bit higher. Okay, and then we want this these little blue babies. We're just gonna add a few of these. Oh, I see, I think I stamped. <laughs> there we go, let's do one more there, okay. I think that's good. I keep looking at this, like, did I stamp everything everywhere? Because we got a couple of blue, a couple of pink, that little yellow. I think we're good. I think that's it, right? So you could kind of go as crazy as you want in terms of like stamping inside there, but I think we're good. Um, what we also need to do is grab a little strip of basic white and we're gonna stamp the Love Grows Here sentiment right there. Okay, I think we are done. Nope, we're actually not done with our stamping quite yet because there are a couple of, do you see like that little flower and that little flower and then that leaf back there. We need to stamp those on some basic white. Okay, so let's see, we need a little blue flower. Okay, so we're gonna stamp him right there. We need a little pink, so blue, Coastal Cabana, pink, Magenta Madness. And then a garden green leaf, this guy right here. There, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stamp one more magenta flower down there because I'm afraid those dyes, they might not fit together very well right there. All right, I think we have done what we need to do here in terms of our stamping. <laughs> Lots of ink pad colors. And again, I'll give you all of these ink pad colors on my blog. All the details will be there in case you missed anything. All right, I think we are ready to do some die cutting. I'm trying to make sure I have all my pieces. Do, 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 do. I think we're good, I think we're good. Let's just get these bits out of the way. Okay. Oh, I was gonna clean this off before I brought this back. Oh, there. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right, we're gonna do our die cutting now, ladies. I need new um, <laughs> plates too, don't I? <laughs> Those have definitely seen a lot of love. Oh well, it's still, it's super flat. That's why I kinda don't wanna get rid of it because it's so flat and easy to work with. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put those there. And we actually need a couple of these little guys too. Okay, so let's see if we can find what I, first thing I wanna show you guys is I used that little label. These are from the hydrangea dyes, okay? So that little label right there is what I used in case you're looking for it. It's not in the greenhouse dyes, but it's in the hydrangea dyes. Another beautiful set of dyes. And I love how they do that though. All of these beautiful images and then they give you a couple of really useful little label and tag kind of things too. Okay, so let me get these out of the way okay so that's gonna go on there we're gonna cut our greenhouse with that one right there and then I also need these two on here also I think that's gonna work okay so I need mm, 
So we're gonna use this cute little die on my granny apple green, and then this other kind of spriggy leafy guy is gonna be on that. What's that color called? <laughs> um, 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 isn't that ridiculous? What is it? What is it? Garden green. It's garden green. Okay, so now I need to find my little, let's see, this little guy right here and that little guy right there for these little images. Actually, we were gonna do that one down here, weren't we? I wonder if this is, <laughs> this is gonna be a trick, isn't it? To get those. And then this one right here. We'll see, what are the chances that these things aren't gonna like wing all over the place? Please, please. <laughs> it's not working, is it? Okay, what about up here? I can always cut it if I need to. That one's gonna work, isn't it? Okay. You know what we're gonna do? So this is what you do. These are all good things to learn. Right, okay, just cut that off there. Okay, so then I can move things around where I need them. Okay, so that little pink guy. Let's do this one, okay? That one's gonna fit on there. That one is gonna go right there, and then this one I can move my paper where I need to in order to get it to fit on there. There, okay. Oh, we gotta fix this one. I think we're good. Let's do it, ladies. Let's see how it goes, huh? Hopefully nothing moves. If it does, that's okay. It wasn't meant to be perfect then. Okay, so bear with me a sec, because I'm gonna go back and forth here just for a moment robin hello <laughs> sorry we're just wiggling all over the place because i'm trying to make sure that that greenhouse um gets sufficiently cut through my foil let's see yeah can you guys see that isn't that so cool love it love it love it okay so here's our little love grows here and the little stitching around there can you guys see that so cute okay then Love that little, isn't that so, uh, there's just so many cute things that just make me smile and make me happy. And this guy, for whatever reason, always gets stuck, so you just throw it on the table, and sometimes you have to throw it a time or two, and it pops right out. See, popped right out. <laughs> okay, that one and that one. Okay, so that little baby, something about those little leaves, just so cute. Okay, we got that one. All right, ooh, and it worked too, good. Okay, so we got our little, Baby flowers. All right, I think we're good all the way around here, ladies. Yay, yay, yay. Very, very excited about this. Okay. Okay, let's see. I want this to just come right up and like leave everything. So now this time I can kind of do this right on here because we don't need this cutting plate again. There, you see how kind of great that is? We're gonna have to pop a few things out, but then we gotta make sure we grab these little guys here. Okay, cleaning that up later. Don't even have to worry about that right now. Let's just get that out of the way. So I need my glasses and my paper piercing tool. Okay, so we're just gonna pop. So again, I probably would have run this through a couple times, but I'm trying to spare you guys all that wiggling um, of the camera. So, you know, when I'm in my craft room, not filming, you don't have to worry about that. I'm all hunched over too. I'm like literally like, Amy, stand up straight. <laughs> I'm like so intent on what I'm doing here. Okay. Yeah, if you could see me, it's really not good posture right now, ladies. <laughs> really bad posture. Okay, yeah, seriously. You would not have to do this if you ran it through a couple of times. Or if you, sometimes you have to put it like a little shim or something if it needs to be just that little bit, a um, little bit thicker to make good cuts for you. There we go. I think we've got it. Um, Monica, this set they haven't announced um, what's retiring yet because this is actually in the January to June mini catalog. So this catalog runs through the end of June. So they will announce, um, what, the beginning of June and May what's retiring in here. So we don't know yet. There's a chance it could retire or there's a chance that it could carry over. 
Although, now that I say that, can I look? I can look, can I? Ooh, okay, I can't show you guys the inside of the catalog, but I can look to see. Hold on, where did my catalog go? Okay, it's buried, it's totally buried. Okay, I can't show you guys, sorry, I gotta do this off camera here, but I can look and see if that stamp set is in here. Hold on, and we will know in a moment. I don't know if I'm cheating. Um, nope, Garden Greenhouse is not, stamp set is not in the new catalog. So it will be retiring, yes, okay, there we go. It will be retiring, now we know, okay. Thank you for asking that. So get it while you can, right? The garden greenhouse stamp set and then the fun dies that we're using right here too. Okay, I'm trying to decide. I got my glasses on, I'm taking them off. <laughs> yeah, yes, Mary, you're looking too. Okay, good. Yes, okay, yes, super cute set. I think we're ready. I'm so like off track, sorry. <laughs> it's very easily distracted sometimes, ladies. Okay, so we're gonna put some adhesive. Let's just one get to back to one thing at a time here, right? That is adhesive, so I'm just gonna leave that there. Okay, so this is gonna go on the inside of our card. Craft or math, ladies. I love that word. <laughs> it's bad. It's really bad on this table right now. Okay, run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back. Here we go. Uh, we're going to add this piece right on there. Okay, now we're going to put this on our... Oh, I put this on dimensionals on the other one, but I already put adhesive on here. So this one's not gonna be popped up. Like this one, maybe you can't even really tell, but that one's on dimensionals. Okay, so next we are going to, again, add some adhesive. I'm just doing little flicks of adhesive along the edges and in some of the detail. Okay, and then we're gonna put this. Oops, I see one little thing I wanna get popped out of there. There we go, okay. So there's that. And then if there is extra adhesive, you can just kind of run your finger back and forth and get that taken off. Okay, now let's see, we're gonna add some adhesive on these little guys. That little delicate one, I'm so, gotta be careful with him. And some mini, we need some mini dimensionals. We want these little flowers to just pop up a little bit. Oops, I did get that, okay and behind our sentiment too, okay? So we're gonna add our little love grows here, sentiment, and then we're gonna put some adhesive on the back of these little guys, and that thing stuck to my finger. <laughs> I'd be like, where is it, ladies? What did I do with it? Okay, that one goes there. See, it's just so fun. Like, it's, you know, like this greenhouse is just, bursting with flowers and color and beauty and so cute, huh? <laughs> yes, you do need the rubber mat, Robin. It's one of those like silly kind of like boring things, but works so well. Cause you can see like, I don't get adhesive at all on my grid paper because I'm using my little rubber, my silicone mat, it's called. Um, yeah, okay, so those flowers, now we're just gonna add a couple of um, opal rounds. Let me make sure you got to dig underneath there with your snips to make sure you get that um, glue dot that is behind or underneath there. Oops. <laughs> there we go. And then one more right there. All right. I think we did it, ladies. How about this? Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> okay. Very good. So quick recap to remind everybody what happens around here. If you put in an online order of at least $30, you're gonna get these two projects that I demonstrated today. And your name is entered into the drawing to win this beautiful, now we can flip through here, right? The new Horizons designer series paper. Isn't that gorgeous? $30 order gets you both of these cards and your name in this drawing. If you bump your order up to $50, you get to pick from this month's free embellishment, which is the iridescent rhinestones or the demo design dream team PDF tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be live again right back here next Friday, April 15th it will be, right? 
Um, yeah, right before Easter. I guess it's Good Friday now that I'm thinking about that. Okay, so have a great week, ladies, and thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you next Friday. Thanks, Nikki. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the cards. Thanks, Philomena. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend.